Repentance brings all God's power. Denial, pride, and arrogance. He says, I resist the proud. Well, I don't know how you get through God's resistance. If he don't want you near, you ain't getting new, near. Ain't getting near, excuse me. You're not getting near. I think he's thinking I'm outside. I'm sorry, talking to my, my family. I don't know. Hey, we can clean it up when we have to, right? The point is, you don't want God resisting you. Your prayers aren't even heard when you're fighting with your mate. God don't want your money if you're fighting with someone. He said, leave it there and go, go get fixed first. See, to me, you get to give God the tithe. I hope he receives it. How about that? That's a totally different attitude, isn't it? I'm hoping it's given in the right spirit. He was being purged of fear. He was being, Abraham was being purged of fear. Lying, saying she's my sister. God had to expose him his fear. First he had to, the storm, the, the, the famine made him go back to his old ways. That was one. His fear had to be dealt with with Abimelech and Sarah. So God's on, you can tell God's on this guy's life and he's going after what he doesn't want in it anymore. God was beginning to remove Abram's limitations. He removes your limitations by allowing situations. If you want an uneventful life, I think if you don't serve God, you'll have a pretty good uneventful life to the end. Then you'll have a big event. But if you want to serve God, you will have events in life. You will have all kinds of